I was asked to make a video for the assembly process of the thump and grind stock. So here we have most of the parts. Unfortunately, some of it's already assembled and there's no way to take it back apart. Uh, for example, your button, the pin goes in from the front. There's no hole to get it back out uh, without destroying this or cutting it apart or breaking the button apart. I'm not going to get that out. It is simply the 3D printed button, a spring, and a 3 millimeter pin by whatever length the instructions referenced. If you can't find it in the instructions, push a long pin down in there, mark it with your Sharpie or whatever, cut it off, file it, stick it in. For the mount, I like to use these inserts, these brass inserts, you get a better connection with uh, the metal on metal instead of trying to set the screw into plastic and it's probably overkill. You could probably tighten it enough to break it, but I know this way the screws aren't going to pull back out of the plastic and this will require some cleanup work, a little additional sanding. Since these are squared off, I had to file them to match the contour and I did get some melting and with this being white of course sanding it made everything dirty. So I printed my parts out of PETG. That's what I had on hand. That's what I wanted to try. Uh, the shrinkage is not the same rate as the PLA. So one place I had issues with was back here. Uh, I had to do a lot of sanding to make these pieces fit and there was supposed to be a metal rod used to assemble these. Mine was too loose to fit and I didn't feel like messing with it. I had screws laying around and bolts, nuts from other projects so I grabbed a Phillips head and nut. I don't remember what size spring was specified for this detent, but the one I found that worked is, it is about half a millimeter thick, about 22 millimeters long. and about 5.2 millimeters outside diameter. There is another pin that goes through the hole right here and through this hole to keep your stock from sliding too far apart. So we'll go ahead and put those together now. This is shaped, rounded on top, flat on the bottom, so it will only fit together one way. You can't force it together the wrong way. So with those slid together, you should be able to look through the hole, make sure you can see light so that it's lined up. We'll take our first pin, and this one is a three millimeter pin, roughly 25.3 millimeters long. And since I had to take this one back apart, I kind of wallered the hole out a little bit. And that pin doesn't fit as tight as it did beforehand, but it's not too big of a deal. Uh, we could put a little bit of heat in there with a soldering iron and melt some plastic back around it if necessary. This is your locking lever. This will lock your stock into the different positions. And this part can be kind of frustrating. The spring likes to fall out, but I have found that if you set the spring down in here first, and there's a little recessed area, circular recessed area up in here, you can try to line up, push down on top of it, and then I'm going to slide my Phillips head screw through there. And again, that's not what the instructions call for. That's what I had on hand, and this allows me to take it apart easily. If you get that too tight, the string is not going to work. So 
so it locks in each of the positions that way. The next step will be putting our pin through here and into the mount to connect the two together. So if we lock our button into place, that'll hold everything steady for us. We can take our pin and push it down in if it's a little tight. I have this little baby hammer. You can use a rubber mallet or whatever. And it fits down in there. This allows you to have your folding stock on your thump and grind or any other project you have that this might fit on.